Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. In this video, we are going to learn what are Bernoulli's differential equations and how to solve it. So let us first of all learn what is Bernoulli's equation. Bernoulli's differential equation is given by dy by dx plus py is equal to qy raised to n, where p and q are both functions of x. Note that left hand side of this Bernoulli's equation completely looks like linear differential equations left hand side, which was dy by dx plus py is equal to q. So here, if you compare this Bernoulli's differential equation with this LDE, you will find that there is difference in the RHS part only. In LDE, we have only q and over here we have qy raised to n. Now let's see an example of Bernoulli's differential equation. dy by dx minus x square y is equal to x square y square. This is a Bernoulli's differential equation with p is equal to minus x square and q is equal to x square. Now let us talk about how to solve a Bernoulli's differential equation or its solution. Note that Bernoulli's equation dy by dx plus py is equal to qy raised to n is a rendered linear differential equation. That means it can be reduced to a linear differential equation of the type dv by dx plus pv is equal to q. And it can be solved by the same way we solved it earlier. That means finding integrating factor and then writing the solution. Now let us see how one can reduce this Bernoulli's differential equation to linear differential equation. There are only three main steps of this reduction. In the step one, we divide this entire Bernoulli's equation by y raised to n so that RHS side becomes only q that is function of x in this way. In step 2, we are going to use the substitution 1 upon y raised to n minus 1 is equal to v. From where this 1 upon y raised to n minus 1 comes? It comes from the second term of this step 1. Look at here. Second term is 1 upon y raised to n minus 1 into p. We want to reduce this differential equation to this. So if you compare this differential equation with this one, you will see that here after p we have v. So here v is 1 upon y raised to n minus 1. Now in step 3, finally we simplify and modify it to linear differential equation. And how we are going to simplify it? Let us see. Let us see what happens when we substitute this 1 upon y raised to n minus 1 is equal to v. Let's differentiate both the sides. After differentiating both the sides, we get LHS as minus n minus 1 into y raised to minus n minus 1 minus 1 dy by dx and RHS as dv by dx. When we take this minus sign inside, we have minus n plus 1 minus 1. So this plus 1 minus 1 gets cancelled. y raised to minus n is 1 upon y raised to n. So we get this. This minus when goes inside becomes minus n plus 1. So 1 minus n, you can take on the other side to get 1 upon 1 minus n dv by dx. Finally, we recall equation number 1, which we transformed after dividing the differential equation by y raised to n, that is this one. And we will substitute this value and this one into this differential equation and we, and we transform it into differential equation in V. Like this. Let's carry forward this differential equation. Finally, we simplify this differential equation by multiplying throughout by 1 minus n. So we get a linear differential equation of the type dv by dx plus pv is equal to q. Its integrating factor is given by the formula e raised to integration p dx. Note that now your p is 1 minus n into p. 
and then finally we substitute this integrating factor into the solution formula given by this here generally you should have v here because this differential equation is now in terms of v this q is 1 minus n into q i hope now these things are clear to you now let us see one real example on it consider a differential equation dy by dx is equal to x cube y cube minus x y on rhs side we want term of the type q into y raised to n among these two i will choose q into y raised to n as x cube y cube and this term i will take on the left hand side so after rearrangement we get a differential equation dy by dx plus xy is equal to x cube y cube now this differential equation look like dy by dx plus py is equal to q y raised to n let's follow the step one we divide the differential equation by this y cube to get new differential equation 1 by y cube dy by dx plus x into 1 by y square is equal to x cube now let's follow the second step we will put this 1 by y square as v after differentiating both the sides we get minus 2 by y cube dy by dx is equal to dv by dx let's take this minus 2 on the other side we get 1 by y cube dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by 2 dv by dx finally we substitute this substitution and this one into equation number 1 this is your equation number 1 this is the substitution so after substitution this term become minus 1 by 2 dv by dx this becomes vx and this remains as it is now we multiply throughout this equation by minus 2 to get dv by dx minus 2 vx is equal to minus 2 x cube now this differential equation looks exactly like dv by dx plus pv is equal to q with p is equal to minus 2x and q is equal to minus 2x cube this is a linear differential equation in v and it can be solved by obtaining an integrating factor given by e raised to integration p dx p is minus 2x let's substitute it over here we get e raised to integration of minus 2x dx integration of minus 2x is minus x square so integrating factor become e raised to minus x square now we substitute this integrating factor into general solution formula given by v into integrating factor is equal to integration of integrating factor into q dx plus c our integrating factor is e raised to minus x square and q is minus 2x cube let's substitute them here now to solve this rhs integral we are going to use a substitution x square is equal to t after differentiating both the sides we get 2x dx is equal to dt now we split this x cube as x square into x so we get 2x dx here which can be written as dt and x square can be written as t so we get rhs integral as minus integral of e raised to minus t into t dt plus c this now integral can be solved using integration by parts rule taking u is equal to t v is equal to e raised to minus t so when we solve it we get minus sign as it is minus t e raised to minus t minus integral of minus of e raised to minus t dt plus c integral of minus e raised to minus t is e raised to minus t so when we take this minus sign inside this minus and this minus becomes plus finally we substitute for value of v and t if you remember we had taken v was 1 by 
y square and our t was x square. So this is solution to the given differential equation. I hope you understand it. Now let us see example number two. Here the differential equation is dy by dx plus 2 by xy is equal to y cube by x cube. This is clearly given in the form dy by dx plus py is equal to qy raised to n. Now we divide this differential equation with y cube to get 1 by y cube dy by dx plus 2 by x y square is equal to 1 by x cube. And then we will substitute 1 by y square is equal to v. Differentiating both the sides of this substitution, we get minus 2 by y cube dy by dx is equal to dv by dx. Taking this minus 2 on the other side, we get 1 by y cube dy by dx is equal to minus 1 by 2 dv by dx. Now we substitute this and this value in equation 1, we get minus 1 by 2 dv by dx plus 2 by xv is equal to 1 by x cube. Finally, we multiplied throughout this equation by minus 2 to get dv by dx minus 4 by xv is equal to minus 2 by x cube. This is a linear differential equation of the type dv by dx plus pv is equal to q with p is equal to minus 4 by x and q is equal to minus 2 by x cube. To solve this, let's find its corresponding integrating factor given by e raised to integration p dx. p is minus 4 by x. Integration of minus 4 by x is minus 4 log x, which is same as e raised to log x raised to minus 4. And finally, it can be written as 1 by x raised to 4. So our integrating factor is 1 by x raised to 4. We will put it into the general solution formula given by v into integrating factor is equal to integration of integrating factor into q dx plus c. Our integrating factor is 1 by x raised to 4 and q was minus 2 by x cube. So after substitution on RHS, we get this integral. Minus 2 is a constant term, you can take it out. 1 upon x raised to 4 into 1 upon x cube becomes 1 upon x raised to 7. 1 upon x raised to 7's integration is x raised to minus 6 upon minus 6. Minus 2, 3 is a minus 6. So after simplification, we get 1 upon 3 x raised to 6. Simultaneously, we substitute value of v as 1 by y square. So we finally get solution to this differential equation as this. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Now I have two DIY questions for you. I have mentioned their solutions as well so that you can tally your answers. Please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these questions or not. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.